Hi folks, Doc here. It's been another nice day and I spent some time outside today goofing off and playing and having some fun. And uh, then I decided this afternoon that uh, I'd get a little bit of work done, maybe knock out a video if I had time. And uh, I had time to get some work done and I uh, guess I'm doing a video. Let's see what I got into. Oh look, a bucket of scrap. Yep. That's Mule 2 stack. I decided that I was going to build a new exhaust system for it today, and I did. As y'all know, I've had some really good results building my own mufflers uh, for go-karts and tractors and things, and I uh, figured I was gonna do that again. Um, the last one I did, being the twin mufflers on Mule uh, worked out exceptionally well. I love the sound. It's got a great tone. Uh, it's not overbearing. It's not exceptionally loud. And uh, it just uh, makes me all feel all warm and fuzzy inside every time I step on the gas. Sounds good. Uh, just as a reminder, I'll spin the camera around and show you. Okay. So here we have the mufflers on Mule. <clears throat> One on each side. Pretty straightforward. As you know, I've got a series of three videos on building these custom exhausts for Mule. Unfortunately, they are starting to surface rust, so I'm probably going to peel them off, clean them up, and repaint them again sometime very soon. I don't want them to rust out. They sound phenomenal, and I'm very happy with them. So I decided that I was basically going to follow the same theme this time. Instead of using the disposable propane cylinders like I did last time, I decided this time I was going to use a fire extinguisher. Now, if you're going to build something out of a fire extinguisher, it's worth noting that some of them are steel and some of them are aluminum. And of course, if you're going to weld to it and you're not equipped to weld aluminum, you're going to want to choose a steel version. So if you have access to an old extinguisher or a pile of scrap that contains extinguishers, bring a magnet along. However, that being said, you know, you can usually eyeball the steel ones easily enough. This one here is steel and you can see the weld, the top ring at the top of the neck and uh, there's a ridge underneath. Not all of them have ridges but it's an indicator. Like I said, bring a magnet and it's not very curved at the top. It's pretty flat. The aluminum bottles tend to have much more of a curve and no weld at the top. Any questions, bring a magnet along. Um, this here is the exact model extinguisher that I used for my muffler. It is about 13 inches high, never did measure it, and it's about four inch in diameter, and it just looked like it was gonna be about the right size chamber for that 18 horsepower V-twin on Mule 2. So I knocked the valve off the extinguisher and emptied the contents into a bucket and disposed of it. And, uh, it's best to start with an extinguisher that has already been discharged. Um, if somebody wants to PM me with discharge instructions and emptying instructions, I can, you know, certainly answer your questions. Uh, above and beyond all else, as usual, you know, if you're not confident and competent, don't do it. Uh, these things are backed up with, you know, 100, 125, 150 PSI of uh, nitrogen pressure behind them. Uh, and if you're not careful, I mean, there is always the potential for injury. I'm going to spare you the boring construction details of exactly how I fabricated the muffler because the exact how is uh, the exact how that I did Mule's mufflers, and I've got a three-part video series on that. Uh, I'll put the link to that series in this video description so that you can find it. And if you want to do something like this yourself, I can show you the exact construction details of precisely how I did it. Uh, what I did this time around is very, very similar. I used the same methodology, and uh, the only difference is, is I used a different cylinder, really. So let's show you what I've put together. All right, so here we have it. This is Mule 2's new muffler. So, as you can see, for now anyways, 
I uh, reused my header pipes. I was going to build new ones because they aren't pretty. I had to cut and re-weld them when I installed the alternator to give me a little more clearance. But I decided I just didn't want to take the time today. So I basically cut the collector off a little bit lower than where the coupler had been. And decided that, you know, that's where I was going to put it in and uh, just reuse the header pipes as I said. So the pipe itself is another one of those bathroom grab handle things that you see in commercial washrooms so that old folks and invalids don't uh, don't fall on their faces trying to get on and off the potty and uh, all I did was cut it to the length of the can inside plus leave some to go outside with the turn down and uh, you know much like the last mufflers that I showed you for mule I uh, used my grinder and I put a bunch of slices down the pipe, flipped the pipe over, put a bunch of slices up the pipe, threw the pipe in the can, welded it in. Obviously I cut the neck off the fire extinguisher and opened up the hole just slightly to fit the pipe. And uh, all in all, you know, not counting emptying the fire extinguisher and not counting taking it apart and painting it and then reinstalling it, but the actual fabrication took me less than 30 minutes. It was a really sweet, easy build. And... Uh, I like the way it looks, and I love the way it sounds. for the custom fire extinguisher muffler on Mule 2 here on the 18 horse Vanny V-Twin. Once again, thanks for watching Sprockets Garage on YouTube and sharing and subscribing. And until next time, take care of yourself.